Hello, my name's Becky from So Much More and today I'm just having a little potter in my greenhouse. I wanted to talk to you about pinching out. Now I get asked this question a lot on my social media. Um, should I pinch out dot dot dot? Now this is an example of where if you understand what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it, then you can decide for yourself whether you want to do that or not. Now I'm really not telling you which is best because there, there isn't really a right or a wrong answer when it comes to pinching out. Um, but if I explain a little bit of the science and the reason behind pinching out, perhaps you can better make your own decision about whether or not to do it. I'll start by saying that I don't pinch out most of my plants. It's a bit of a waste of my time. So here I have some beautiful little chilies and peppers. This is a pepper called California Wonder. Now this is about the height. It's about five inches tall. It's about the time that you might decide to pinch it out. And what we do when we're pinching out is we just simply take the top little bit and just pinch it off. Now the idea behind this is to remove the apical meristem. So basically in plants like chilies, peppers, many flowering plants, the hormone that controls the growth in the plant is located at the very top of the plant and the area that it's located in is called the apical meristem. Now this controls vertical growth, a upward growth. If we remove the apical meristem, what happens is that the dominant hormone in the plant becomes the hormone that controls lateral growth, i.e. growth outwards. So by pinching off the top of a plant, we encourage lateral growth. This is really useful in most flowering plants because they often produce more blooms from lateral growth than they will from apical growth at the top. So in order to get more flowers, we make sure that there is plenty of lateral growth. Now the thing is that nature has been doing this for quite some time and nature is interested in producing lots and lots of flowers, therefore producing lots of seeds, lots of fruit and being able to continue for many, many more generations. So it's in the plant's interest to try and produce as many flowers and as many seeds as possible. Now, as we can see from this plant, we're starting to get some lateral growth coming out the sides here. We've also got a couple of little tiny buds at the top, but this plant's looking quite healthy and sooner or later, it's going to have some nice lateral branches. And I'm expecting to get quite a few chilies from this one. This one's a chili plant. So I'm going to let this one do its job because Whilst it is going to be apically dominant for most of its life, it, which means that it will grow up more than it will grow out, it knows what it's doing. Its job is to produce as many chilies as it can. The problem is if I pinch out the top and encourage that lateral growth, the plant could become imbalanced. It's not natural for chilies to have the tops removed and therefore have this lateral dominance. Now, lateral dominance, the, um, the main hormone being the lateral growth hormone, will produce a really wide plant and a wide plant is a plant that can split, a plant that can fall over and a plant that isn't very well balanced. So what you end up with is a plant that needs some support. This is okay if you want to give it some support but bear in mind that support doesn't always work. It's much better to allow it to do it its way and trust the plant. So I'm going to be planting this one out in my polytunnel very, very soon and hoping that it will produce itself a nice balanced plant that isn't going to need too much support. It might need support when it's got loads and loads of fruit on it later in the year, but it's going to be quite nicely balanced. If I pinch out the tops, it could grow too far out to the sides and end up splitting itself in half and I could lose a lot of the crop, which would be a real shame. Now, when we take out the top and we encourage that lateral growth, 
it doesn't last for very long. The top will reform and it will start growing again. The apical meristem will repair itself and that um, vertical growth hormone will become dominant once again. It's in the plant's interest to go upwards because that's where the sunlight is and then they can get above the canopy of other plants as well and compete a little bit better. So if you are removing the tops you're not going to be doing it a long-term damage um, so don't worry about pinching it out certainly but just bear in mind that it might not be entirely necessary. I hope you found this video useful. <laughs> Take care. Bye.